In a mass casualty incident, a large number of victims are produced in a relatively short period of time. The casualties are usually the result of a single incident, such as an aircraft accident, a hurricane, flood, earthquake, or an attack with weapons of mass destruction. Such an incident may exceed the local capabilities for response and management. Healthcare facilities are required by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, the Joint Commission on Accreditation of Healthcare Organizations and other licensing agencies to have an emergency management plan for any type of adverse event affecting the hospital. The plan must address all aspects of managing crises from hardening the organization against a potential problem to restoring normal operations when an emergency is over. One element of the plan should address receiving multiple victims from any type of incident and carrying out decontamination procedures. This program is the second part of a series called Hospital First Receiver, designed to provide hospital personnel with the information they need to safely and effectively manage patients who may pose a risk of secondary contamination. It is called Hospital Incident Command System. The program will explain how the Hospital Incident Command System, often called HICS, was developed, describe the organizational concepts behind HICS, explain the roles of the Hospital Incident Commander and the Command and General Staffs, illustrate how the Hospital Command Center operates, and depict the position of the Hazardous Materials Branch in the command structure. The program will show the role that the hospital emergency plan and job action sheets play in an effective and organized response to an emergency.